How to find the best places to meet people. It can sometimes be difficult to figure out the best place to go to meet new people. You may be new to the area and want to find a place to meet new people and make friends, or just be looking to expand your current social circle. With a little bit of planning and research, you can come up with places to meet people. Method 1 Finding Places to Meet New People 1. Join a club or meetup group. Another great way to meet new people is by joining a club or other meetup group. Many communities have local organizations that sponsor or host various activities that residents can participate in. Consider joining the local choir, math club, or bingo night. These are fun, interesting activities to do while you work on meeting new people. If you are under 18, you could join your community's local chapter of the Boy Scouts or Girl Scouts. These organizations host a lot of activities, including weekly meetings and weekend excursions, that would be a great opportunity to connect with some new friends. Sign up to volunteer your time at your local hospital or nursing home. This is a great way to help your community and make some new friends while you do it. 2. Go to your local place of worship. Attending religious services is a great way to meet new people in your community. Places of worship often host events and gatherings that encourage its members to interact socially and spiritually. Even if you are not very religious, this can be a good way to meet new people. If you are school-aged, try going to religious classes or evening youth group meetings to meet more people your own age. 3. Participate in a sport Joining a sports team is a great way to meet new people and build friendships. When you play on a team, you automatically bond with your teammates over the shared experience, which can develop into a deeper friendship over time. Try to join an athletic team at your school or ask your boss about joining your company's baseball team. You may even be able to find sports teams that are affiliated with your local community that you could join. 4. Join a gym People who work out are often open to finding new workout buddies because working out is much more fun when you have someone to keep you company and share in the experience. When you see someone over and over at the gym, that is a shared experience that makes walking up to them and striking up a conversation much easier. If you have a gym buddy, you'll also gain the added bonus of having someone else to hold you accountable when you feel like cheating or skipping workout sessions. It may take a little time to make friends through the gym, as many people are focused on their workout and may not be as open to conversation or distraction. 5. Attend special interest events and conferences. Most organizations and special interest groups host regular events to encourage the spread of ideas and experiences between people who share the same interests. Check the local library or community center to see if they are hosting anything locally that might appeal to you. There are events for people who love sci-fi and comic books, like comic, con, literature, like author-specific international conferences, fashion, cooking, wine tasting, movies, and really anything else you can think of. Attend events that really interest you. If you go to something you're passionate about, you'll meet people who share your passions. 6. Attend after-school events If you're a student and you want to find places to meet new people, try going to after-school events at your school. This is a great way to meet people with whom you already have something in common you attend the same school. This also means that it could be pretty easy to start hanging out with the new people you meet since you'll be around them at school anyways. Try stepping out of your comfort zone and talking to new people. Introduce yourself and try to start building new friendships. This applies in college as well, even if you are going to community college or don't live on campus. There should be a ton of clubs and activities for you to explore, your school might even have an activity fair during which different organizations set up tables and try to entice you to sign up. Method 2 Making New Friends 1. Introduce Yourself When you find someone you would like to become friends with, the simplest thing to do is to just walk up to them and introduce yourself. Tell the new person your name and something about yourself, like how you're related to the place or event that you are both at. If the place is a school event, tell the new person what grade you're in or what activities you participate in at the school. Try saying something like, Hi, my name is John. I'm new here and looking to meet some new people. Or maybe try saying, Hello, I'm John. I'm a junior here, but I've never seen you here before. What's your name? Try to project some confidence during this exchange. People are more likely to engage with others who seem sure of themselves. This makes the other person feel more at ease and builds rapport at the beginning. 
2. Ask them questions. One surefire way to get to know someone and to put them at ease in a new conversation is to ask them questions about themselves. People typically enjoy talking about their own lives and sharing their experiences, so this is a great way to keep a new conversation going. Try asking about their family, job, social activities, hobbies, favorite restaurants, and other things like that. Try to ask open-ended questions that can't be answered with a simple yes or no. 3. Make plans. Once you have established a rapport with the person and decided that you would like to continue the acquaintance, it's time to think about making plans for the next time you'll see each other. Try to be casual about it and not put too much pressure on the invitation. You don't want the other person to feel uncomfortable or overwhelmed. Try saying something like, Hey, I was thinking about trying that new Italian place downtown. Would you like to join me there some night this week? Or you could try inviting them over, I really enjoyed our conversation tonight. I'd love to have you over sometime soon to hang out. Method 3 Being considerate when making plans 1. Know what they like Think about what kinds of things your activity partner likes to do and then plan accordingly. You want to do something that both you and the other person will enjoy, but especially the other person if you're the one making the plans. But be careful not to make assumptions. Ask them if they like the thing you are thinking about before you make solid plans. For instance, let's say they like coffee. Perhaps they would enjoy meeting at a nice coffee place. Consider suggesting the two of you meet for a nice coffee date. 2. Google places that they might enjoy. Think about what you know they like and search around on the internet to find some examples of places to do these activities. If they like swimming, search for a beach and find out where it's located. Always know how to get to the destination, so that you can avoid being embarrassed because you got lost. 3. Find something new and interesting. You don't want to bore your activity partner by doing the same things over and over. Try to think of something new and exciting to do so that they will be interested in going to the new place. For example, if the two of you always go to the movies, you might want to consider suggesting something more active and engaging, like bowling. Remember that you don't always have to be the one picking the activity. Take turns so that no one person is always trying to think of a new activity. 4. Notify them ahead of time if they need to bring something. You want to be a good planner and let your friend, significant other know if they need to be prepared in some way for the activity you have planned. You don't want them to be unable to participate because you didn't let them know what they needed to do to be prepared. For example, if you want to go swimming, you should let them know to bring a bathing suit. 5. Make all the necessary arrangements ahead of time. If you're inviting someone to hang out with you, then you should try to take care of all the arrangements in advance. For example, if you need to make reservations for a restaurant, do that. If you need to worry about transportation, try to work that out too. Taking care of these things will show the person that you put some thought into hanging out with them and that will reflect well on you. 6. Tell the person where you will meet at least a day before. You want to give your friend a little advance notice about your plans so that they can make sure they have time and fit it into their schedule. If you spring plans on them on the spur of the moment, they might think you're flaky or don't know how to make time for them. Try to give them at least a few days notice so they can plan accordingly. 7. Don't change your mind at the last minute. Avoid canceling plans at the last minute at all costs. This is a very inconsiderate thing that should only be done in the case of real emergencies. Canceling at the last minute will lead the person to believe that you don't value their time and it might make them more hesitant to make plans with you again in the future. If you have to cancel, be sure to call the person as soon as you possibly can so that you can give them the courtesy of canceling with as much advanced warning as possible. Tips Take turns on choosing places to meet. Try to find places you both like to go to, not just you or just them. If you're just interested in a friendship with the person, make sure they understand that this isn't a date, just a friendly get-together. Warnings If you're meeting someone new, suggest meeting somewhere public and make sure you let someone know where you'll be and what time you should be home. 